in 1916. The 6th and 9th Avenue elevated trains both started at South Ferry. The lines split and the 6th went up Trinity Place, Church Street, and West Broadway before turning west on 3rd Street to 6th Avenue. From there it went north to the end of the line at 58th Street and a short east-west stretch at 53rd reconnected it to the 9th Avenue line. The combined line ran north on Columbus Avenue to 110th Street where it switched over to 8th Avenue and ended at 155th Street. Northbound at Rector Street, Trinity Church is off to the right. This is probably Franklin Street Station. This is probably Grand Street. Further north now. Coming up on the crossover at 53rd Street. Switching off the 6th Avenue line. Switching on to the 9th Avenue line. Now we come to the one block jog at 110th Street from Columbus Avenue to 8th Avenue. 60 plus feet above the pavement, it was sometimes called Suicide Curve. The 110th Street stop here had elevators between the station and street level. Looking down here on the northwest corner of Central Park. This is an express stop, either 116th Street or 125th Street. The platforms are staggered and the single express track snakes between them. Approaching a local stop either 130th, 135th, or 140th Street. The 145th Street Express Stop. The express platforms are above the local tracks and the express track rises to meet them. Approaching 155th Street and the end of the line. Above, a streetcar stops on the approach to the Maycombs Dam Bridge. Now,
Now we're headed south on the express track. Passing the Museum of Natural History. Passing through the upper level of 66th Street Station. Crossing over Broadway at Lincoln Square. The Hippodrome at 43rd and 6th. The 42nd Street Station and Bryant Park. Herald Square, crossing Broadway again at 34th Street. Leaving Rector Street and rejoining the 9th Avenue line. Battery Place, the last stop before South Ferry. Battery Park, with the aquarium in the distance. <laughs> 